On behalf of the CFL Board of Governors, I am pleased to announce that the 2013 Grey Cup has been awarded to the City of Regina, the Province of Saskatchewan, and to the entire Rider Nation. Please bring out the cup, gentlemen. How much did they have to convince you that, and the league that, and the board that the Mosaic Stadium could host another one? I don't think it was a, it was any arm twisting at all. I think really the fact of the matter is, we know that the Ryder Nation is going to host an amazing Great Cup. There's been so many improvements. If you think about the city, more hotel rooms, better conference facilities, uh, and the and the board and the Ryder board will work on. And making improvements to the stadium. So if you talk to Roger or Jim, I think they have the confidence, we have the confidence, and they're going to be amazing hosts in 2013. Why Regina? What makes Regina so special to host these events? Wow, it's uh, definitely the green, <laughs> you know, uh, but I think more than anything, it's the people. Um, every city has its own unique personality, um, but I think really the Ryder Nation, the, the way people open up their homes, the way people really um, make you feel a part of the community. I think that's what will make this Great Cup, the 2013, you know, 2013 Great Cup, so successful. You haven't experienced a Great Cup in Regina, I don't believe. So, what are your expectations? Oh, they're high. I tell you, listen, a regular season game is so exciting. Imagine what a Great Cup's going to be like here. So, I'm looking forward to it. Well, Roger, how exciting is this for the organization to have the Great Cup coming back? This is a big, big event for us. It's one that we've been working on and thinking about for the last uh, year and, and a little bit. This is an opportunity for us to give back to our fans, uh, which we really want to do. And so when we think about it that way, it's unmeasurable. This is one of those priceless events. This is a fun time. It is priceless, but also a financial boost for the organization moving forward as well. It is. Uh, you know, the CFL teams all want to host the Great Cups because of the support that they get from all the great football fans. And, and part of that is our own fans that travel all the way to these various Great Cup games. So to put on one here, yeah, financially there's an advantage to us. Uh, so it's our turn and we're due to have that. But it's also an opportunity for us to continue to give back to the community. And, and in 2010, you know, we gave back $1.6 million back into this community. So this is an opportunity to hopefully help us give some more consideration to even boosting that from where we go from here. Is there extra pressure on the organization to get there, being that there hasn't been a, a home team in the any Regina Bay? You know, I think uh, I'd be dishonest if I said there wouldn't be because I think we'll probably put some of that pressure on ourselves. You know, you'll say no, we're you know we're going to have the same goals, but uh, let's face it, uh, uh, it's a once in a you know once in a, in a lifetime opportunity for most of us to to be part of the Grey Cup and and then have the team in it. So I think, but it happens so rarely as. If you look back, it doesn't happen that often, and uh, I know the BC Lions are sure hoping that they're there this year, and probably a lot of the, the fan base, but uh, uh, it's a tough thing to do. How much does that build need to start this offseason to possibly get that team there in 2000? Well, I think we, we've got to be we've got to be better in 12. We've got to be in the hunt, competitive. Uh, clearly, uh, four and ten is, is is not sitting well with anyone, and including myself. Uh, there's there's work to be done, and so we've got to focus on 12. And if you if you if you're good in 12, uh, you build on that, you know. And and so I think it's a, it's a process. But uh, you know, we saw Winnipeg turn around last year and go from four and 14 to uh, to being a very good team this year. And I think we've got a good core here. It's not that this is a team uh, without without some strength. So uh, we'll focus on 12. But I think in the back of your mind, that always the 13 is coming, the Grey Cup is coming. Mayor Fiaco, how exciting is this uh, for the city of Regina? Absolutely fantastic. Uh, anyone that uh, has, has been around for the 1995 Grey Cup in Regina in 2003 knows that uh, being able to, to host an event like this is, is great for the city. Uh, it's great for our image. It's great for the fans. And it's great for, for uh, really uh, the CFL. I mean, this is the best uh, CFL city in the, in, in the league. So uh, we're, we're, this is a privilege. It's fantastic. What about the business owners of the city of Regina and the boost to come? $50 million worth of economic spin-off. Uh, and I, so I know the business community can't wait. Um, that's just 
during the event itself, then you've got the leading up to it, the economic spin-off. So, you know, the hotel industry, the restaurant industry, the retail industry, uh, just the service industry period, there's no question that they're, they're going to benefit from it. So it's, uh, this is a good news story for everybody. What about the potential of this helping out with a uh, new stadium and maybe encouraging the, the development of one? Well, you know what, that train has already left the station. Uh, Council's already made the decision to, to go ahead uh, with, with a, a new entertainment facility and going, uh, the private sector is certainly going to be very much part of it. Uh, so, you know, I, I, think that, um, I think that the support that the event gets is an affirmation that, you know, we need an entertainment facility that's, 12, that's going to be used 12 months of the year. Uh, or something close to that, anyways. We'll we'll see what what uh, what ends up happening with the private sector, but um, you know, it just means that it's probably going to be the last Great Cup that'll be held at Mosaic Stadium.